my um, history lesson with the uh, one two students, and it's recess. And the principal was preparing us today, and I prepared a lesson that was really just two parts. The first part was pretty rote. Uh, well, it was pretty boring, that is. And then the second part, which the principal unfortunately missed, was. Uh, more interactive. It was group collaborative work where the students were to draw parallels between the structures of the U.S. government and the structure of the U.S. government and the structure of the Hong Kong government. And we concluded that, in fact, they're quite similar. There's separation of powers and the rule of law in uh, both countries' governments. Uh, they're just different names. That's all. <clears throat> so that was our first task, our first group task, we have a government structures of the U.S. and Hong Kong. And then our second task was to uh, compare and contrast the political and economic situations of the 13 and Hong Kong colonies. So we weren't talking about the countries anymore. We were talking about the, uh, the colonies. Uh, what's going on here? What happened? What happened here? Are you okay? What happened? Are you okay? Are you sure? Alright. If there's a problem, just let me know. So, we just had a little problem with these kids here. But, uh, that's okay. So that's been resolved, I hope. And the second situation was, uh, now going back to colonial life, uh, Hong Kong and the 13 colonies. Hi, Jeremy. We were discussing the similarities and differences in the political and economic situations between these uh, two colonies that were both ruled by Britain. And we weren't able to finish, but we did start putting down some points. And with regard to similarities, both had governors, and there was an absolutism, in fact, in both places. The difference is, well, obviously, the United States declared independence, while the Hong Kong people did not. With regard to trade, uh, we had a lot of differences. Uh, one was that, as a colony, Hong Kong industry was developed, uh, and while U.S. trade was actually restricted. Furthermore, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Hong Kong never experienced any special acts, punitive acts. Um, America, of course, in its history, uh, under Britain, received many punitive acts. They were recipients of many punishments, economic punishments. And, uh, of course, that was not given to Hong Kong, fortunately. So, that was our history lesson, and it went pretty well. And we have some very good, assiduous, meticulous students in this class who are working very hard to learn. And uh, that's about it from here.